Tuberculosis is one of the very common chronic illness which is seen predominantly in the devel developing world. And uh, in a country like India, after so many years, we still have a lot of TB patients which we have to treat. And a lot of these patients after treatment have the post tubercular sickly and patients keep on suffering from these. We have with us Dr. Rupak Singla, who is the head department of tuberculosis and chest at the National Institute of Tuberculosis, Meroli. So, Dr. Singla, uh, what are the ways in which tuberculosis presents in the ICU? Since we are talking about the critical care infections and many a times the tuberculosis patient do land up in the ICU. So, what are the ways in which these patients come to the ICU? Yes, there are many ways by which a TB patient can present to the ICU. Like first of all, it can be a frank ARDS itself and commonly seen in miliary tuberculosis that they present with the ARDS along with the miliary tuberculosis. Then you can have disseminated tuberculosis and patient is in respiratory failure. Then CNS tuberculosis with meningeal involvement, they may also require the uh, ICU support. Then we have uh, this uh, hemo the pneumothorax, the hemoptysis can be there or massive pleural fusion can be there. Then one of the again not very common condition but the dysfunction crisis with tuberculosis they can also be as there. As present as a hypotension. As hypotension. Then as we are seeing in our tropical countries the post tubercular sequelae who go to respiratory failure because now post TB sequelae are one of the very common cause of uh, obstructive airway disease in our country. And they go to uh, the hypercapnic respiratory failures and off and on they may require ICU support. See, if a patient is tuberculosis and comes to the ICU, do they really need isolation? Because everybody, the, the healthcare workers, everybody is scared in the hospital, the TB patient has come. So you think there it is a right to put these in isolation? Yes, definitely, especially if the patient is put on smear positive, they do need uh, isolation and preferably in case we have the negative pressure ventilation with unidirectional flow. So that should be considered. Definitely and they, so. what kind of mask these uh, healthcare workers should wear? You yeah, see, there, there's a myth that they, we see them wearing ordinary surgical masks, but no. In case healthcare workers, may it be doctors, nurses, or technicians uh, taking care of these patients, they should wear N95 mask. So that is a real mask for the yes. healthcare workers. But yes. if patient is there, patient can wear a surgical mask. Patient can wear a surgical mask because that prevents infection from the patient to the others. For that, surgical mask is all right.